Hey guys, me Zuma. Welcome to the last part of Let's Play The Sims 3 miniseries. So, um, you're probably wondering who is this? And this is Colby. And he lives alone now. So Colby is a teenager. Um, he was... So here's a story of why Colby lives alone. Colby's mother got with this guy named John. And you guys know John. But Colby did not like John. John did not like Colby. But it started off with John not liking Colby. So Colby was um, just a little kid and he was just making sure his little brother and sister were fine. And it was his birthday. So on his birthday, his mother announced that John was going to be living with them. And Colby already did not like John at all. Ever since he gave his mother that weapon. So Colby is just like, well shit, now I gotta live with this guy. Not only did he move in, did um he move in but he didn't they all moved to this big house and they became rich so john's rich well it doesn't say john's rich but the kids um things say it's they're rich so now they're rich so they go from this poor life to this luxurious life in a day and colby's like hold on there has to be a catch and the catch was that there were only three bedrooms one for diana and john one for um Amber and one for Aaron. So Colby thought that he had to share a bedroom with Aaron and he was chill with it until John showed him his room, quote unquote room. So John led him to the garage and there were some mattresses down there in a storage closet looking place. So Colby starts to yell at John saying this is so stupid, why do I have to sleep here? And John starts to beat him. So for a while John's just beating Colby and Colby tries to tell his mom but his mom doesn't believe him. So he thought maybe or sooner or later her mom, his mom will figure out that she's a, he's a jerk and she doesn't need him, but they end up getting engaged and that's when Colby had enough, so he ran away. Now Colby lives alone in this little house, I'll show you the house, in this little house far away from his parents. Now this wasn't Colby's first decision. Colby's first decision was to move with his parents, but um, that didn't happen. Um, his Wait, not move with his parents, move with his dad and his dad's wife. But that didn't end up not happening. Um, he ended up just moving here alone. And, you know, it's not the best idea to do, but it happened. And now Colby just lives here alone. He hasn't attended school in a while. And he decides he's not going to. He just ordered all this furniture and put it in this house. And this is how he's going to be living his life. Until he ages up. Now, he doesn't remove rare, he rarely goes outside. When he does go outside, he leaves at 7 o'clock every day for it to look like he's going to school. He'll take the bus across the bridge and then he'll get off to the school, but he won't go to the school. And the reason for that is because um, he doesn't, he feels like he doesn't have to. He feels that it's relevant for him to even get an education if he's a runaway. And if he were, to, his parents were to, or his mother were to report him missing, then the school would definitely know. So today Colby's not even going to get on the bus. He's just going to stay home all day, maybe watch some TV or maybe go visit his neighbors since his neighbors are the only ones that know, well not all the neighbors, just this house. Um, these two guys who look really dingy and dirty. Uh, the reason they look dingy and dirty is because they're from my um, zombie apocalypse LP. I put them in there and they're in it but um, you really haven't met them yet. You have to wait till the next part to meet them. So, yeah. This is Gale Down and Reagan Hatton. So, yeah. <laughs> Chloe is going to come over here and talk to Gale for a little bit. Um, he has to finally introduce himself first or greet him first. So, Chloe's going to eat really quick and then he's going to go uh, talk to Gale. Um, you know, Gale understands his whole entire situation because Gail's a runaway too. He just ended up um, freeloading off these people that he lives with. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. Now, do I support the whole entire runaway thing? Not necessarily. I feel like you shouldn't run away because eventually you'll get over it, but there are certain circumstances where you just you can't take it anymore. What the fuck? Did you like go inside or something? I suppose he did. Gale. Oh. I collapsed into the earth. So 
yeah, Colby's gonna go visit the uh, Lynn household, I think they were called, and just talk to Gail. He needs to have some closure, and since, you know, he's end up being his only friend at the moment, it, it's nice to have someone to talk to about your feelings. Now, you may think that Colby's a bad kid. He's actually a really good kid. He's over emotional, he's good, he's artistic, and he's a coward. So what I'm saying is that his cowardly move was him running away. Damn it. Just visit the goddamn house. Ring the doorbell. Ring the goddamn doorbell. Goodness, Colby. I'm waiting. Thank you. Now, Gail has informed the family that they should not question Goldie about his age or anything. That they should just go with it, and that's what they do. Um, that's what they've been doing. So, yeah. Also, he's proper, so that's why he bowed at him. Yeah. Gail's weird what the fuck is this? Why the fuck is this happening? Who the fuck? Stop. Damn it. Whatever. 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 Uh, it's probably because this kid doesn't have a crib. Hold on guys, I'm just gonna buy this baby a crib because I forget that when Sims have like babies and stuff, they don't have cribs for the babies. And this makes me sad. I just wanna buy. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, I have to buy beds for everyone else because they don't have beds. So I'll just buy a few beds outside. I think I just need two. Yep, there we go. All better. Okay, that wasn't really part of me to be able to do that. Like to do that but I felt that I needed to because I think that that dude just well, like totally crashed in her bed so yeah way to go Reagan it's kind of funny they have the same haircut <laughs> I didn't know that but yeah um Colby's just going to talk to Gail he's just gonna be friendly and uh get to know him a little bit better than he had um just share him a secret tell him that he you know, the secret that he, Gail already pretty much knows, and uh, be a creep and talk about computer. Or not, it's cool too. She put the baby in there. Good job. Now I feel bad. But yeah, so I'm going to be ending this LP here, um, not, I mean, not, like, in the part's not ending now, but I'm going to be ending this LP this part because it, it's a mini-series and I'm going to be doing the 100 baby challenge. Now, my friend said not to do the 100 baby challenge, since everyone else is doing the 100 baby challenge. I heard you can get your braces stuck together if you kiss someone else with braces. Colby, how would you know? Colby, has it happened to you? <laughs> so, um, like I was saying, 
Um, yeah, I want to do the 100 baby challenge. The reason I'm doing the 100 baby challenge is because I don't want to do it later. Um, and the reason I don't want to do it later is because I don't want to, uh, do it later and then, like, if this makes any sense, I don't want to do it later and then, like, I'd have to get prepared for it all over again. I'd rather do it now because I can always do the runaway teen challenge later. And I know all the, my, um, yeah, I'd have to review the runaway teen challenge, um, rules again. And I already know the 100 baby challenge rules. So I could just play like that. Um, so yeah. And also I could totally just like, 100 baby challenge isn't that hard. I don't think, like, all you have to do is have babies. And yes, raising the children is hard, but I feel like the 100 baby challenge is more fun too because... I haven't seen a pregnant girl in a very long time in my game, so I'm just, I don't know, desperate to have babies, I guess? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, don't, I don't like ghost stories. Uh, why don't you, you started failing school, and I'm pretty sure you were already failing school since day one. What you gonna do, bitch? You wanna ground us? Take care of your baby, bitch. Okay, whatever. Uh. 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 I guess he could be weird now. Just like talk about random stuff. Gail's probably like, your conversation's a boring kid. He has a really deep voice. At least they take care of the babies or not. I don't care. Alright, this dude's tired, Colby. He's just like, kid, get the fuck out of the- Do you do that too? I hear a child, and I know I'm not the only one. Oh, it's her. Yeah. So, Colby's going to uh, head out. Um. Oh, apparently, they're getting to fights and stuff. Guess no one's there. Do you know anyone? So cool. No. Get some. You can hang out in the graveyard. But it's raining. Are you hungry? No. Hey, why don't you go to the fall festival? What's the chances that you're gonna see your mom there? She's a cop now. So Colby is gonna leave. Um, he's just gonna go to the festival and just chill there for the rest of the day. You know, he doesn't want to stay peaked up in the house all day, and he ages up in twelve days. So he basically has twelve days until he's really free. But we're not gonna be able to see those twelve days. I'll play with Colby more, and then I will maybe make an update video after this on how his life turned out to be. Um, who knows how his life turned out to be? Maybe he became sex um, successful. Um, successful, or maybe he just turned out to be delinquent. Who knows? I don't know. Chances are he's not going to turn out to be delinquent. I'm still wondering where the hell he got this bike. So here we are at the fall festival, um, 
fall festival in this town is inside, so let's go inside. We have to kind of pee. So why don't you go in here and pee? And then I don't know, what can you do? It literally seems like there's nothing here. With the actual Oh, the concession stands are upstairs. Yep, festival tickets. And birthday cake. So yeah, he's gonna go buy some food and maybe just chill here. There's no one here, which is kind of weird. Normally there's like hella people at the festivals. There's no one here, um... Yeah. He can go and enter the uh, thing and maybe he'll just leave. Or he can talk to some people. So he will have a cinnamon donut. And then he's gonna go enter the house and then maybe just, you know, he's not even gonna go enter the house, he's just gonna go home. Now, he thought that maybe when he ran away he was going to find peace of mind, but as you can see, he's just really lonely now. So what's Colby going to do about this loneliness? He doesn't really know. He just knows that he's lonely and that's basically all. So Kobe's gonna shower and then he's gonna head to bed. And uh, I'm gonna end this LP right here. And I know this part is pretty short and it was pretty brief. Um, you know, it, it's just Kobe really has nothing to do with life anymore. His value of his life is basically to survive now. He lives alone and he never thought that he'd move out earlier than he had planned to. He planned to go to college, but now he's obviously not going to be able to do that. A lot of things that he planned to do, he's not going to be able to do. And though he's upset that John was the reason that he would never be able to fulfill his dreams, he's just happy that his family is okay. So yeah, I'm going to end this part right here. If you want me to do anything with Colby's life, if you want me to continue, I will totally continue. Just tell me what you want me to do with him. I will sh gladly be sure to do it. Um, so yeah, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.